Consider a thermometer soaked with a wet weight reading and elevated system. As the wet weight is the saturated with water, the partial pressure in the wick is higher than that in the ambient. This creates a pressure gradient across the wick and ambient air. As a result, the moisture in the wick absorbs enough latent heat of vaporization and with its own internal energy, the moisture evaporates and releases heat to the ambient. Then the temperature of the wheel decreases and is lower than ambient. Heat flow from the water to lower temperature region. Consequently, heat from the ambient is transferred to the wheel by convection. This cycle repeats until a steady state is reached. At the steady state, the heat vaporization of the moisture content is equal to the convection heat transfer from ambient to moisture content in wheel. Derivation of wet bulb temperature. First of all, the green color is to refer for the reference. Since the system is the steady state, the Q vaporization is equal to the Q convective heat. For the heat of vaporization, Q is equal to N delta HV, where N is equal to the product of MA and A and A. And the delta HV is equal to lambda W plus CPA times T minus TW. Then we substitute the equation 2 and 3 into the equation 1. Then we will get the equation. Sensible heat item can be neglected because it has a small value compared to latent heat. So we will get the equation. For the convective heat transfer, Q is equal to H times T minus TWA. As mentioned before, Q the pressure is equal to Q convective heat. So Q1 will be equal to Q2. Then we will get the this relation. This we get from the mass transfer equation. Then we substitute into the equation 1. Then we will get the new relation. From the absolute humidity equation, humidity is a function of the partial pressure. Where the partial pressure is equal to Y A P. We get this equation from the Rod's law. Then we simplify and we will get the humidity equation. Next, we rearrange and simplify the equation 4. Then we will get this equation. The value of H over MA was too small compared to the 1 over MB, therefore it can be negated. Then we will get the equation 5. Where 1 over 1 minus YL is nearly unity and can be omitted. Then we will get the equation 7. After that, we simplify and rearrange the equation 7 and we will get the final equation.